it's Ashley. I am finally filming a craft room tour. I am so sorry it has taken me this long to film this video, but it is here and I'm hoping that you can find some motivation from this craft room tour and I'm hoping that you can pull out little elements or designs or storage ideas and make them work for you in your space. I hope that this motivates you and inspires you and I just want you to know it's taken me over three years to get to this place. So if you're trying to make your own craft room, just know that it takes some time, but you will definitely get there. So let's go ahead and dive into this tour. All right, let's get a little overview of everything and then we'll dive into the details of all of it. So when we first walk in over here on this side, there are a couple of, these are Calyx shelves from Ikea. All of the big furniture pieces in here are from Ikea. I will try to link everything that I can down below in the description box. That is a Calyx unit from Ikea as well. And then over here we have one of my desks that is also from Ikea. Here is another desk that is from Ikea. Clearly, I love Ikea, right? And then over here, we have to open the door. We have a squeaky door, but this is a closet desk that I built. So that is kind of an overview of everything. So now we'll start to dive in to all of the details. All right, first we'll start here. So on top I have my printer and then this is a Canon selfie and I use this to print photos for memory keeping. And then if we look down here on this first shelf, these two boxes came from Hobby Lobby and I'll show you what's inside of both of them. So this bigger one has a lot of my craft supplies in it for like painting and stuff. I have some stencils in here as well. This is a custom stencil that I made with these cool little show off stencil blanks that I got from Hobby Lobby. Those are awesome by the way. And then I just have like some ink pads inside of here, acrylic paints, um, some E6000, just mainly painting supplies are inside of here and stamping supplies as well. So that's what's in the big box. And then inside of the smaller one, um, I really don't even remember what's inside of here. Trash, that can be thrown away, right? And we have a plethora of gum that I forgot that I had, some white out and some crafters tape. Huh, I'm glad I looked inside of there because I forgot I had all this gum. All right, so that's what's inside of both of those boxes. These two bins down here, they have my son's art supplies in them. So we just have a random assortment of things, markers, crowns, colored pencils, paint, dry erase boards, construction paper, popsicle sticks, all sorts of fun things for him to get creative with. And then these file folders have printer paper in those. So that is everything on this first shelf. And then for this unit over here, this picture came from Hobby Lobby. I love it so stinking much. Like how cute is that mermaid? I love that one. And then down here I have, this is a keychain from the Happy Planner. I have these three little paper clips that are from um, Etsy. If I can find the shops for them, I will link them down below, but I love Ray Dunn and you'll see that here in just a minute. But I thought these are so cute. They're like Ray Dunn inspired paper clips for your planner. And then I have two glass jars here. These are from Target. They hold my planner discs. So this one holds my mini discs. And then the bigger jar holds my expander discs and my classic size disc for my planners. I honestly don't remember where I got this from, but inside of here I've got my Sharpie S notes. And then I also have Bible highlighters inside of here. And then I just have a paper pad that's from the happy planner that I use to take, to like drop quick notes down that stays out up here. And then down here in this first one, these file folders have like paper, uh, some notebooks and stuff like that inside of them. Same thing for this one. And then this one as well with some folders and divider tabs and stuff inside of there. And then inside of these two bins, 
we have, well, let me pull them down and then I will show you what's in them. All right, so in the bigger one, I have a lot of my extra insert papers and folders and stuff like that for my planners. If you're new here and you're checking all this out and you're like, what is she talking about? I am a member of the Happy Planner Squad and I've loved the Happy Planner for years now. So I have a lot of their products. This is just stuff that I keep inside of here that I don't use very often. Just some extra insert paper and stuff that goes inside of my planner. So all of that stays in here. And then this one is what holds all of my dashboards for my planners. I used to lose these all the time. It was like socks. You know how you lose socks? That's how I felt with these dashboards. So I stuck them inside of here. Every one of my dashboards are, well, almost all of my dashboards are inside of this bin, which I love because they're organized. They're all in here together and I know exactly where to look for them. So that's what's inside of both of those. And then inside of this first bin, I have some stuff that's left over from nursing school that I really just don't know what to do with. So I just keep all of that stuff inside of there. And then this one has some, some random things inside of here. So I've got some scarves that I use for photo props. I've also cut this one up and used it for a DIY. I have some shipping products inside of here. So there's like um, sh shipping tape down in there. There's also an old shower curtain in here that I've used for photo props before. It's like a cloth one that I never actually hung up in the shower. Um, so, I mean, it's clean, it's not dirty. I just never used it. So that's in there that I use for photo props. We just kind of shove everything in this one and hide it all away. <laughs> and then for this fun little situation that I have over here, we obviously have Mickey Mouse. Say hi, Mickey. So this was a prop that I got for a video that I did for the squad, for the Happy Planner squad. So we have Mickey. And then over here, I have some DIYs that I was working on. So I've got stuff for Christmas DIYs. I have some old decor pieces, some wall decor pieces that I have that I'm not using anymore. I have burlap that I plan on cutting up and putting inside of my Christmas tree. So these are like some yard stake things that I've taken apart and used for DIYs from the Dollar Tree. So that's that little corner. And then inside of this thing, I've had this for a long time. I think I got it at Walmart, but I'm not 100% for sure. So in this top drawer, this is where I keep baby wipes are inside of there. Those are great for whenever I stamp or I'm painting or something. I need to clean something up. Also paper towels. And then these are just like little scrap sheets of like wrapping paper stuff, like shipping paper. And I keep that there. Sometimes I paint with those. Just kind of shove that back in there. That's fine for now. Okay. Inside of this one is where I keep some yarn and twine. And I use this stuff for different DIYs. And then in the bottom one, this one's kind of heavy. And it wants to pull the whole entire system out. And it's hard to do one-handed. Okay, sorry about that, I pulled it out. But I have some different paints down inside of here. I've got Mod Podge, I have some caulk, some spray paint, sandpaper, spacklings inside of there. So that's where those kind of supplies stay. So that is everything inside of this corner. This is just some extra like shipping paper that I use whenever I make bigger projects if I need to cover the whole desk or something. So we will put Mickey Mouse back. All right, and then for this big shelf, it's a lot. So we'll kind of go through everything quickly. Um, up top here, this is my Disney and Happy Planner squad box that I got and I love the box, I kept it up here. Here's some Ray Dunn pieces that I have. This is a Happy Planner punch from Stephanie Fleming. Love this punch, my favorite one ever. Look at that gorgeous mermaid. One of the girls on my fitness team, Miss Mara, she got me that as a gift and I love it so stinking much. And then over here, I just have some decor pieces. Some are from um, let me think. That's from Hobby Lobby. That's from Hobby Lobby. The candle's from Ikea. The Raydon Home candle is from TJ Maxx. So that is everything on the top of it. 
And then when we start here, these are all current planners that I'm using. And then this is the Happy Planner and Disney Squad Box that I got. That's what that came in, so I just stuck that there. In this one, I have some of the newer sticker books that I received inside of my squad box. I love these sticker storage boxes from the Happy Planner. Those are amazing. So we just have a ton of different stickers inside of there. And then I have my mini Disney Princess Happy Planner kit here. That's for 2021 is whenever it starts. So that's why I haven't used it yet. And then over here on this side, these are a couple of old planners that I've already used. Got some Happy Planner notebooks back there. These are mainly memory keeping stickers except for the front ones here. These are like the alphabet stickers. And then the rest of those back there for like memory keeping stickers. And then this little thing came from Target. I love that little basket, it's really cute. And then over here on this side, this is from the Happy Planner. This is one of the um, really cool organizers. I love this little thing. And I just have some random things in here that I probably need to go through one of these days. A book, we have an old calendar. These are some Ray Dunn planners and notebooks that my mom found for me at TJ Maxx. So those are inside of there. This is some of the paper that come inside of the different be happy boxes from the happy planner. I like using those for photo props too. I have a giant paper clip inside of here. And then this binder helps me plan out my Instagram posts. So I have that here. And then down here, these are my original OG happy planner stickers. This little basket came from hobby or no target, but they also have some like this at Walmart. So you might be able to find some of them, but these are just some of the OG happy planner stickers. I have one of my deluxe covers here. And then on this shelf, in this little bin, this came from Ikea. Inside of here, I have a lot of the Happy Planner, like some of the newer wellness inserts. I've got folders, some note paper. My sticker planning guides are inside of here. Some of the companion packs are here, Christmas stuff. Um, there's block pads, and then some of the big Happy Planner accessories are there. So that one's pretty much accessories. And then for this one over here, this is all of my Disney stuff that I have. So I've got my Disney um, princess and Disney stickers are all right here. So I know where all of those are at. I've got my Mickey Mouse discs here. And then my Disney planners and accessories are all right here together. And then this little section here, inside of this basket wire thing, we have mainly like note paper. So some different accessories are inside of here. There's some of these little inspiration cards. And then back there is note paper. And then I also have some, let's see, this one is a planner, right? Yeah, this is a skinny classic planner. And then these two are uh, skinny classic note notebooks from the Happy Planner. These are all of my happy notes that I have. I keep all of those here and I use those quite often. And then if we go down from there, these are all 2021 planners. These are, these are some mini planners that are current as long as, as well as this one. And that's a skinny classic. And then these ones are all, well, here to here are either happy notes or journals. And then I have a couple of the big happy planners. And then in this shelf here, I've got my Happy Planner pouches and pencil cases are here. I've got a punch back there. The coffee in one hand, confidence in the other is from Hobby Lobby. And then these are old mini Happy Planners that I've already used. And then these ones are old Happy Planners that I've already used. So that is that part of it. And then now we'll dive into the bin down at the bottom. All right, inside of this first bin, this is pretty much like, I don't even know how to explain this. This is just kind of like your junk drawer, but it's not junk. So I have some old uh, lantern lights that I made. I've got my Canon selfie box. I've got headphone boxes inside of there. There's extra cords and different things like that inside of this box. That's just kind of like a random, random assortments of things. Inside of this one, we have a lot of my Christmas things that I've been using for DIYs. 
love this box and I'm so excited to be diving into this one. I do have a couple of Christmas DIY videos up now on my YouTube channel if you guys want to check them out. But this holds most of that stuff. And then this one was holding a lot of the fall decor pieces. These ones I made and I put those up because now I'm decorating for Christmas. So I have some candles in there. I've got some Halloween stuff that I had, pumpkins, all kinds of different little DIY crafty stuff inside of that one. And then this one, I have more crafter stuff. So this is where I keep like my hot glue gun, hot glue sticks. I have spray adhesive inside of here, balloons, some sticky back foam paper, um, computer dusters inside of here, wood glue. I had to hide these from my child. <laughs> he was running around stabbing everybody with them. It's an ink pen but one of my friends from nursing school got these for us and I thought they were so cute and I just stuck them in here to hide them from him. I was tired of getting stabbed with them. Um, so that's what's inside of that one. And then from there we have my rolling cart. Inside of here I have some stuff left over from nursing school that I don't know what to do with so I just leave it there. And then these two shelves, the two top two tiers of it, these are for my son for virtual learning. So I have all of his stuff up here. I've got some sticker books that I used inside of my planner that I use for virtual learning. He's got a wreck this journal that he doesn't use. We have that. These are like, um, this file folder has some schoolwork that he's already completed inside of there. And then this is a dry erase board that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and I took some magnetic strips and stuck it on the back so I could stick it to the cart and normally I have him write out his spelling words on here. And then this tier has got crayons, we have pencils and markers, we have some math um, cards there, extra pencils, colored pencils, his headphones, all kinds of different little things inside of there. And then on the side of this giant calyx shelf, I took some command hooks and I stuck them on there. This is where I hold my canvas totes that are from the Happy Planner. Then I also have some of their storage pouches that I keep there. So that is everything on this side. And then up here, I used to have, um, let me show you, I'm trying not to make you sick. I used to have this one underneath of here so it kind of made sense to have this stuff above it but now since I've rearranged everything and moved it this just kind of seems random to me but I love it it still works it's still super functional so this little system here came from Ikea I have dry erase markers over here I have my Tombow pens here and I have some paint pens up here these are just extra random pens and pencils that I have these are my mild liners and my sharpie s gels in there and then up here both of these came from Hobby Lobby. This one holds my washi tape from the Happy Planner and I just used some of those little rings for like index cards. I put my washi tape on those and I hang those up there. So that's that section. And then from there we're going to come over here to this desk. The desktop, the legs, and the Alex drawers over here are all from Ikea. The chair I found on Amazon and like I said I'll try to link everything that I can down below. This little Ray Dunn piece came from TJ Maxx. I almost died whenever I found it because I'm like, oh my gosh, that would be perfect for pens. And I love it so stinking much. That's one of my favorite Ray Dunn pieces I've ever found because it's been so, so cute and so useful and so functional. So I love it. Now for the desktop, I actually had my husband cut out a section in the back. That way I can stick my ring light there. And I use this sometimes for filming videos. Um, I will tilt the ring light down and then I film overhead for like plan with me videos. Those are my planners sitting over there. And then inside of the Alex drawers, in this first drawer, we have all sorts of things. So the dividers that are in here, I made from some like those wood pieces that you can get at Walmart. I cut all of those down, I glued them all together and then I painted them and I stuck those inside of here. So we've got some highlighters, some colored pens, I've got some Papermate flare pens, we've got sticky notes, 
fake fingernails, <laughs> rubber bands. There's some uh, sewing stuff back here. I don't know what even is all back there. That's just kind of random stuff. Um, and then we have some more sticky notes, some tabs, fingernail clippers, favorite energy bars ever, verb energy bars, those are amazing. Uh, staple, stapler remover, some nail files, got some thumb drives inside of here, some flash drives, just all sorts of different things in this top one. I use a lot of the things up here too. And then in the second drawer, this is where I have my ruler, paper clips, those rings that I use. I have note or um, index cards back here, extra paper clips. I've got binder clips. I believe these little containers came from Walmart, but I have tape inside of here, calculator, an extra Fitbit band, wide out. I mean, you can see all of the stuff that's in there. This is some double-sided tape, and then I have a hole punch over here. And then in the next drawer, this is where I keep my classic size Happy Planner Punch. I also keep some memory keeping supplies in here. So like double-sided tape, I've got some punches in there. I have a sugar tester. Um, for the longest time I was having severe dizziness and lightheadedness. So I was keeping track of my sugar, which was totally fine. That was not the problem. I have low blood pressure. <laughs> but um, some old, so not old, but some memory keeping supplies are inside of this one. And then back here, I just kind of have some random things I've got headphones and cords, my mouse for my computer that I never use, a keyboard cover for my computer. And then I have a book light here. This is my paper cutter here. And then I don't think there's anything else back there. Nope. So that's everything in that drawer. And then this drawer here holds a lot of my filming supplies. So I have like my mic that I use for voiceovers. This is a Unipod that I use sometimes to take photos with. I have an extra tripod in here. What was this for? This is for the microphone that I'm using now. So that's what's inside of that one. And then this final drawer down here is where I keep my memory keeping stuff. So I have a lot of cardstock paper up top. This is where I keep my supplies for memory keeping as far as like my memory keepers are here. Some different like papers that I can use and insert papers from the Happy Planner and stuff that's all for memory keeping. So that's what's inside of there. I have some photos and stickers back there. Oh, let's not drop that. Okay, so that's everything inside of those drawers. And then in between these two, I have another command strip hook here. This holds my Disney Princess Happy Planner storage case. Love this, this has been my favorite one so far. This is a memory keeper from the Happy Planner that's still in the box, I keep that one there. So that is everything for that desk. And then from there we move over to this desk. This is called a Mickey Corner Workstation. This is also from Ikea. I love this desk, my only downside to it is that as far as being able to stick like binders and regular size papers and stuff inside of there, you can't because the shelves are not deep enough for that. But they hold Happy Planner stickers amazingly well. So I have some, well, a lot of Happy Planner stickers here. These ones are um, some of the, like, remember how I said, I'm trying not to make you sick. Those ones there were like my OG ones, OG Happy Planner stickers. These are the, the stickers that released after that. And then these are the next release after that. So that's where I keep all of my stickers at. And then on this top shelf, I have this little bin that's from Ikea. And I keep some of my pencil loops over here stuck to the side of it. And then inside of here, I used to use this bin a lot more than I do now. This had a lot of stuff in it that I used for nursing school with planning. So like I had a lot of sticky notes that I used. Those are tabs. Like I use these ones here. Like those. Hold on, I'm struggling. <laughs> these words and different little icons and stuff, I use this a lot in nursing school. So I kept all of these together. So whenever I would plan, I would just pull all of these out and I would use them for planning. So that's kind of what stays inside of there. And then over here, let me turn this little light on. 
I have this little container, which I found on Amazon. It holds these little pins. I don't remember what they're called. What does that say? Sipa? Sipa? I cannot read that, so I'm sorry. But anyways, I found these on Amazon and I use those. So I stick those inside of there. This thing is really cool because this is a dry erase board, which I don't really like using it for a dry erase board, but it's also magnetic. So I do like hanging some stuff up there. Right here is where I keep my son's Chromebook underneath of there and my laptop on top. Got a cute little candle warmer. I put the candle warmer up here to hide the hole that has all of the cords. So that kind of hides everything. And then I've got a couple of Ray Dunn pieces there. And then over here on this side, this is my new Archer and Olive. This is a journal, a dot grid journal. I'm really excited for this one. I'm gonna start using this one as for um, my Bible studies. So I've got that one. This is the Bible study that we are currently doing as a family. And then this one is the Bible study that I am doing. So those stay out right here. And then this little thing here pops open. And then I just have random stuff in here. So we have some old dated stickers for the Happy Planner, some old habit trackers that I made. I think that's it. Yeah, just some stickers and some habit trackers are inside of there. I really don't use that thing very often. And then up here, these are my Start Today journals. So I'm currently on the yellow one and I use that every morning to write down gratitude and goals. I have my Plan a Happy Life book that's from Stephanie Fleming. These ones are those little smaller sets of stickers. I keep all of those here. And then I also have these stickers here. And then this is where I keep my mega sticker books. And then up here, this little tiny shelf, I keep tiny sticker pads over here. So those stay there. And then this little section here is where I keep these little accessory books. That's got like the sticky notes on them, stickers, and these little cards at the bottom. So all of those stay right there. And then on top we have Ray Dunn thing. This is from, did I get that from Hobby Lobby? I think that was my son's school picture last year. I don't know why they let him put his arms up like that, but they did, it was so funny. Inside of here, I got some little Christmas charms that I was using for some crafts. So Christmas charms are in there. Over here, I have some Nerf gun balls inside of this one because Nerf wars break out like crazy at my house and I always have extra ammo stacked up around the house. Um, these are some little Halloween charms that I was using for uh, some DIYs. This canister, it says believe and this one says faith. Both of those are Ray Dunn. They came from TJ Maxx. And I have some uh, like potpourri stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby in there. This is a little Ray Dunn thing here that I don't use anymore. It used to set on my desk. Hexagon is from Hobby Lobby and so is the uh, seashell, not seashell, the coral that's there. And then those, this one actually has some washi tape in it. That's empty. This cute little thing came from Hobby Lobby and I've got my son's school pictures and my niece's school pictures up there. So that is everything on the top of the desk. And then underneath of here, I have this um, storage thing. Sorry for shaking it. This is where I keep all of my books at. And then router and all that stuff and crazy cords are there. So that's everything for this desk. And then last but not least, we're gonna go back over here to the closet desk that I had built. And down here at the bottom, this stands up about waist high to be in about 5'1", so I'm not very tall. But this is the same height as a standard like kitchen cabinet. It's 33 inches tall. And I did it that way so I could have a stand up desk. Because when I sit down at this desk and at this desk, I get headaches because I have knots in my shoulders. So this one I really like because I can stand up and work at it. But underneath of here, this over here, are these are my foam boards that I use for backdrops. I have a dry erase board, an extra tabletop for this desk here. Um, I, Ikea had that on sale and I picked it up. And then this is a chair from Ikea that my son pulls out sometimes whenever he sets at the desks. But as far as up here goes, let's turn the light on. So I have these little lights. I picked these up on Amazon. These are supposed to be like kitchen cabinet lights, but they work out wonderfully inside of here. This is a pipe thing that I built 
well, I put it together. I didn't actually build it, but I put it together. And this is also where I can film YouTube videos. And then the pegboards are both from Ikea. I don't have very much on there right now because Ikea is sold out of all of their pegboard accessories. So it's kind of bare, but we have scissors and um, my ruler over there. And then I found this really cute Ray Dunn planter at TJ Maxx. So I have that sitting over here. And then up here on this shelf, let me tilt this up some. Uh, this is my storage pouch, not pouch. Um, oh goodness, I've totally forgot what I was saying. This is from the Happy Planner. It's basically for like on the go planning. You put your stuff in there. I cannot think of what it's called. Back behind there, I have some beads that I use for DIYs. That's an empty file folder. This is also from the Happy Planner and I keep my current book that I'm reading up there and a skinny classic planner there. This is from Ray Dunn stuff. I've got like permanent markers inside of here. Those little things, this is where I keep paint, my uh, paintbrushes at. Up here, these two have like DIY stuff in them for Christmas. Well, this one does. This one actually has extra like sticky notes and white out and stuff like that inside of it. And then for the top shelf, it is just storage. I'm not pulling any of that stuff down. I can't even reach it. So we're gonna be leaving that stuff up there, but that is everything on the closet desk. And then lastly, I have my vision board on a foam board that's stuck to the back of the door. And that's where I keep that. So that is going to be my craft room tour. Again, I will link everything that I can down below in the description box. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And I hope you have an incredible day and I will see you in the next video.